what's up everybody another day another property home tour if you guys are just tuning into this channel for the first time my name is chuck it's crucial that's right licensed real estate agent out here in las vegas nevada we also serve the city of henderson north las vegas unincorporated las vegas uh, sometimes boulder city and maybe i will drive out to pahrump who knows but uh today uh, i am back at it again at this beautiful community called Temple by TriPoint. What's great about this neighborhood? There is no SIDS and LIDS, so you don't have to pay for the dirt, right? However, there may be a lot premium. Now on this side here, you're gonna have smaller homes. On this side of the street, uh, the lot sides are gonna be more wide, okay? They have a total of 65 lots to pick from, three different floor plans. Anywhere from 2,200 square feet all the way up to 2,900 square feet. So today we're going to be exploring this model right here. This is the Plan 2 that features 2,200. Oh, I'm sorry. 2,424 square feet. You have an option anywhere from three to four bedrooms, two and a half to three baths with a two-car garage. The base price here, believe it or not, will start you off at... Six hundred thousand dollars, six hundred seven thousand dollars. Man, I don't know what it is today, but my mind just feels like very groggy or something. I don't know what's going on. It's like I got brain fog. Okay, I definitely do love the uh, the pavers here. What they did, great job on the uh, plants. Now, one thing you've noticed is that you kind of get this discoloration here, right? The problem with uh, the darker tones, especially here in Las Vegas, once you paint it once, that's it. Because once you go back and you paint it again, the sun has already baked that paint on there. It's very hard to get the same consistent paint unless you take it from one corner to the other corner and just paint this whole block out. That's the only way to do it. Now, another thing I've noticed here, they actually stuccoed the front of the wall, which is really nice, okay? All right, let's go inside. Then we have this little gate here that takes us into this courtyard. We already know this gate. That's right, that's an upgrade, folks. Now that we're here in the courtyard, let's take a look around. This is really nice. You know, you got a little living area here. Not bad, a little dark. Now on this side here, as you can see, what do we have? We have like a little metal pot plant that goes all the way around to the side. Here's the thing, if you guys are gonna do this, make sure this does not leak into the foundation of your home. Here we have a side access to the uh, back of the yard. Matter of fact, let's just go back here on this one here. Love this side access here. Now this is not a large backyard, but this will give you an idea of what you can do. One thing that uh, I can already see that's negative here, could possibly be, is that this is a major street right here. You're gonna get that loud noise. However, I'm a city kind of guy. I enjoy this kind of stuff. The sun exposure is gonna be on this side majority of the day. However, you can see this is only a 20 foot setback, right? But look at what they have done to this. I mean, you have two different living sections here in this back you have you have a lounge area here then we have a place where we can sit down and eat do some grilling okay two ac units which is definitely a plus all right so let's go inside let's see what we got we got a gas stub right here i've noticed that gas stub is a little bit higher than usual maybe that is something new first time i've ever seen that that high all right let's go inside so this one looks like you have a push pad for your entry key so as i enter we have an optional room here okay because remember it's three to four bedrooms here's your open floor plan i love how large that window is so let's figure out where we're going to start here first okay uh you know what let me just flip 
this as a 180 so that way we can go back here. First thing I notice is I come in, we've got the 24 by 24 porcelain tile. As you can tell, it's never been sealed and the grout lines are very dirty. The texture that we have here is the Spanish style texture. This is gonna cost you a little bit more than the orange peel because the walls need to be pretty straight. As you can see, they're pretty flawless, okay? Six inches on the baseboard, which is really nice. I do like that. This one is actually equipped with uh, alarm system throughout the house, which is nice through all the windows. Here, you had an option to do the downstairs bedroom, but it definitely will close all this off. So if you want an office, this would be pretty cool. But you always get a better value to have a bedroom downstairs. So if you can make this a three-quarter bath, that would be great. Okay? And then I would just open this up later on. Even though it's permanent for a fourth, I would take down that wall. You have that option if you want to go back and forth with it during the time of the sale. And that's the most cost-effective way to do it. A lot of this stuff that you see here, the wallpaper, the mirror, uh, the pendant lighting, all this stuff is not included. They don't even have this option at the design studio for you. Now we do have ample storage underneath. I do like the storage underneath the staircase. However, one thing um, they used to do is to do, a, what do you call it? a floating staircase. Now, if you wanted to cut the cost cheap, if this is not a low bearing wall, you could still cut this out here and turn this into like some sort of a wine room, a showpiece, and that would look awesome. All right, so upgrading on the fireplace, beautiful cladding. I love this TV right here. I mean, it's just a nice focal point. Love the windows as well. Definitely brings in a lot of light. This is my favorite picture window right here. That's just so gorgeous. Now, let's take a look at this house from this angle. Love the fact it is nice and open. Now, the kitchen is a little bit unique because it kind of bleeds out to this far right here and I feel like the kitchen's a little bit small however you have this beautiful granite countertop with a two inch front face beautiful waterfall edge here okay uh, looks like they try to book match this didn't really work out now this is one slab okay which is really nice typically the slabs are six by twelves I believe then we have our GE appliances on this one. Love the uh, hand pulls. Now this one is a more of a natural color earth tones, okay? This one, we don't have the dovetails. Now at this price point, I probably wouldn't have dovetails on here. I would just have the front drawers uh, customized. Love the windows. Backsplashes, ah, okay. This one we have a 36 inch cook countertops, five burner on here, which is really nice. Then we have a nice vent. What else we got here? So this is our pantry. This cannot be our pantry. This is a little bit too small for the pantry. I'm not liking that, okay? Refrigerator is not included. Now to skin the sides and all of this right here, obviously that would be an upgrade. Let's see if this takes us out to the garage. Here is the garage. Let's see what we got for the garage. This is just our two car garage. Now this is built out right here because this is technically a bathroom that they have for uh, some guests. But eventually if you buy this house, this gets knocked down and pushed back to the wall here. Okay. Now let's go back. What else we got here? Oh, we got your oven and your convection. Let's make our way upstairs. See what we got. Bannister, definitely did the upgrade on that. So as we come up, we have a loft here. 
bedroom there and bedrooms there. So let's start off right here. 12 by 24 tile, washer, dryer. You have the option to do the upgrades on the uh, cabinets there. I feel like sometimes you do need a sink. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Sink or no sink? Okay, so here we again. 48 inch panel. Alright, let's have a seat. Let's see what it looks like from here as we relax and chill. Try to have a good time. I don't know if I'm really feeling this plan two. I'm liking plan one better. So if you guys haven't seen plan one, check out plan one. And it's a cheaper price point. But I think that one's better though. All right, let's go check out the uh, the primary. Oh, look at that beautiful chandelier right there. And again, another window that brings in a lot of light. This builder gets it as far as like bringing like light in. Now this is a very huge room. And you literally got like windows galore. Now if you got windows like this, believe it or not, you can actually get window shades, right? That are electronic and you can actually customize these window shades to block out the light automatically. So, let me give you an example. Sun rises east, sets in the west. You get up early in the morning, shades are down here. As the sun comes on this side, shades automatically roll down here. How cool technology is, right? Water closet, okay, not bad. Let's see what we got here. Love the, uh, the hand pulls. Undermounted sink. Oh, it looks like that light is out. Closet space. Not bad. Now, I'm going to say at this price point, this is kind of like entry level just to be near Summerlin. Because Summerlin's getting very pricey. Oh, we got some rust right there. Easy fix, though. You definitely with these black fixtures here. You got that calcium buildup. You definitely need a soft water installed. Or if not, make sure to get that soft water loop too, like seriously. Right, I got a client that's calling me, so I need to finish this video up. I know I've been like so busy, like I haven't had a chance to do any type of video home tours. And, um, honestly, I've been showing, like, multi-million dollar homes now. And, um, when you go to, like, luxury, to, like, ultra-luxury homes, I mean, it's, like, a whole different caliber. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. It's, like, some of these properties I look at today at the... You know, 800 and below, it's just like some of them just doesn't interest me unless I see something that I've never seen before. But honestly, these are all like just, you know, really cookie cutter homes to me. But believe it or not, I mean, I'm just getting so used to it. All right. So like I was saying, you know, sometimes I get bored making these videos, but what keeps me going, it's you guys by... You know, showing the love, showing the support by hitting that like and commenting. Yeah, so if you guys want more video home tours, y'all know what to do. Hit that dang like button, folks. Did we go in this room? I lost my train of thought. I think we did. Yeah. I guess that's uh, pretty much it for this video home tour. Hey, if you guys don't have a real estate agent, we definitely would love the opportunity to earn your business. That's right. There's no charge to you whatsoever. You know what? Let's go shopping with a home. Let's go shopping for that home. And let's have some fun too as well. Like seriously. Now, if you guys are looking for that real estate agent with that suit and tie, 
and that's what you want, that car sales guy, give me a call. I can be that guy too as well. And just let me know to wear that suit and tie. And when we meet, I will wear that suit and tie. Now, nah, you know what? I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to be who I am, and it is what it is. All right, guys. Give me a call. Other than that, I wish you guys nothing but the best, and be blessed, folks. If you guys want to check out all our video home tours, we have over 1,800 video home tours. Just go ahead and click on this video right here. If you guys are in the market and you want to purchase a home and want to get started, visit lvhomeexperts.com. Scan this QR code right now. Also, if you guys just love real estate and want to get into real estate, go ahead and subscribe to our second channel. Until next time, peace.